Hey everyone, so today I'm doing a what I got for Christmas video and I just want to say really quickly this is part number one and this is going to go up on my beauty channel so this is basically going to show you guys all of the beauty stuff that I got for Christmas and if you want to see part number two I would recommend subscribing to my vlog channel which I will have a link to below and I'm going to post part number two of my Christmas haul on that channel and that's basically going to show you guys all of like the clothing stuff I got for Christmas and all of like the fun little random things and also one of my big presents will be included included in part number two so that will be up in a few days after I post this video anyways a lot of you guys are probably very surprised that I am posting this video because I originally was not going to do a Christmas haul this year or last year 2010 I don't know. Um, I wasn't going to do a Christmas haul because I know these type of videos can attract a lot of hater comments, but it was requested so much that I do this video, and I don't want to do a big long speech at the beginning of this. But I'm very, very, very thankful for everything that I got for Christmas because for me, Christmas is not even about receiving gifts. So to receive anything on Christmas is truly a blessing for me. Um, because there's no rule that, like, I have to get presents for Christmas, so to receive anything is really amazing, and I'm very thankful for everything that I got. So I'm just going to jump into it and show you guys what I got for Christmas, because I think it's really fun. So you can leave a video response of what you got for Christmas, or tell me in a comment what your favorite present was. So anyways, this is going to be my beauty stuff, so let's get started. So the first beauty thing that I got was this InStyle Ultimate Beauty Secrets book, and I had been eyeing this so much every time I go to Target and my mom knew it and she got me this so I was so excited and I've been reading this so much I've been getting a ton of tips from it it basically just has a ton of like beauty secrets and tips and I have already been using this so so much and it's helped me a lot so I love this I also got these hot rollers and I've been wanting to try hot rollers for a very long time so um, I got this set it's from Remington so you open it up and it's basically all of these curlers that, well they're rollers and they heat up when you plug it into the wall. And they actually work really well. I've used it a few times already and I love, love them. They give my hair like a really soft finish. These are like the most amazing things ever. And I really like the clips on them too because they're light pink. And I like pink so I really love that. Okay, so now I'm going to get into the actual, like, individual beauty products that I got. So, um, first I got this Drenched in Pink Sweet and Flirty Super Soft Body Lotion, and my grandma actually gave this to me, and I own one of the pink body lotions, but I like this one better. It smells a lot better, in my opinion, and these last forever, so I love that. And then I also got the, I have this, like, box with some stuff in it. Um, I got the Japanese Cherry Blossom body cream and I got this from my grandma as well. I already had the lotion version of this but I didn't have the body cream so I'm really glad I got that. Okay so this is kind of funny. If you guys watch one of my older Bath & Body Works hauls I said that I loved the Secret Wonderland scent from Bath & Body Works and it was like the mini sizes but I didn't want to buy the full size so um, my aunt actually got me the body lotion and the shower gel which I was so happy about. So now I got the full sizes and then a little bit later I opened up another one of my gifts and my cousins got me this set and it's the whole Secret Wonderland set. So um, it comes with the loofah, body cream, shower, no that's not the shower gel, that's the body spray, shower gel, um, body lotion, and then the lip gloss is right there. So I actually ended up getting two of the body lotions and two of the shower gels which I'm totally fine with that because I love this scent. And look at how cool the bathtub is. It has like these little glitters in it. So cute. And I was so happy about that. Even though I have so much Bath & Body Works, I didn't have any full-size products of this scent, so I love that. Okay, this next gift I was so happy about. Um, I didn't ask for a lot of the stuff that I got for Christmas, but this was one of the items that I did ask for. It's the mini set of the Harajuku Lovers fragrances, and I always wanted to try the full sizes, but I never even knew what the scent smelled like, so now I can try out every single one and then pick out which one I like, and I'm hoping that I'll fall in love with one of them and end up getting the full size. I'm really liking Music and Baby right now. Those are like my two favorite scents, so I was so happy I got this. Um... Oh, I love it. Okay, the next thing I got was the Pixie Natural Mineral Kit because I had been wanting to try the Pixie products for quite a while. So, um, it's basically this big set. It's like a little block and it has eyeshadows at the top 
then some blushes, and then some lip colors. And I always see Pixi products at Target, so I was glad I got these. And then I also got the Eye Beauty Kit in Lavender. And it's a very, like, small palette, so it can fit in your bag. And it has really nice purpley colors, and I love purples, especially, like, on brown eyes, which is obviously what I have. Um, the next thing I got was also from Pixi. I'm so glad I got this Pixi stuff. Um, it is a flawless vitamin concealer in the shade medium, if I could get it out. Um, it's just a nice concealer. I used it once so far. And the last thing I got from Pixi is the Lip Rose Treatment. It's just a nice like rose colored lip treatment. It's really smooth on your lips. And it smells like roses, so I was glad I got that. I got two things from Pop Cosmetics. I got the Sweet Good Morning Kiss and the Minty Goodnight Kiss. And they're basically just fun little lip glosses. The Good Morning Kiss has little grains of sugar in it, so when you put it on, you rub your lips together and exfoliates them. And then the, the, um, the salt. Then the sugar dissolves and it's just lip gloss, and I've tried it and it really does work. And the nighttime one is basically just like a minty gloss. It's really nice. So I love both of those. And then I got two Lorac Mocktail Lip Glosses in, what's this one? I don't know. I got Guava Tiki, which is a nice like coral color. And then I got, what is this one? Maui, which is like a hot pink. It's so pretty. And these have like the little brush applicators at the top. And they smell super good, so I was glad to get those. Oh, and I actually got one more thing from Pop that I forgot to show you. It's a little mini ribbon gloss. And it basically has three different lip colors in it, like little ribbons. It smells so, so, so good. Mm. And I didn't have a lot of Pop Beauty products, so I was glad that I got to try out a few more different things from that brand. I got the Fresh Rose Face Primer because my mom knows that I had the mini size of this and I fell in love with it and I ran out of it like a week after getting it. So I got the full size for Christmas and I was beyond excited about this because this is my favorite face primer right now. It literally makes your makeup stay on all day. It smells like rose water. And it's just amazing. You can get this at Sephora. I definitely recommend picking it up. It's amazing. I got a cream sheen glass for MAC. And this is in the shade Partial to Pink. And I've been wanting to try a cream sheen glass forever. Um, you guys are probably surprised. Like, you have never tried their cream sheen glasses. No, I've never tried them. I have a lot of Dazzle glasses. But I never tried their cream sheen glasses. And this is so creamy. And I'm wearing it right now. It's kind of coming off. But... I love the cream sheen glasses more than dazzle glasses, so I'm really glad that I got to try that out. Um, the next thing I got from MAC was this tinted lip conditioner. I actually bought this with my Christmas money recently, so I haven't really used it yet. It's in Calm Mode, and it has SPF 15 in it and lavender, and look at that color. It's like a nice light nudie pink. It's so pretty, so I just bought that with my Christmas money recently, and... Oh, it smells so good. It smells like fruity pebbles or something. I don't know. It's amazing. And the last thing I got from MAC is the False Lashes Mascara, which I haven't tried this yet because I just got this with my Christmas money as well. Um, and the packaging is really cool. And this is what the brush looks like. So if any of you guys have tried this mascara, let me know what you think about it because I haven't tried it yet. Alright, so that is everything that I got for Christmas beauty-wise. Um, I love everything, and I'm very thankful for all of it. So part number two should be up probably a day or two after I post this one. Um, and when it is up, I will put a little annotation or a link down there. And I'm going to film that right now, so I will talk to you guys later. Bye.